All right, well, this morning at 5 a.m., the National Hurricane Center decided that Hurricane Aaron had reached major hurricane status, so it reached Category 3 status at 5.50 a.m. this morning. The National Hurricane Center made an update. Take a look at this. Category 4 strength has been reached in just a very short amount of time with this storm. The good news, the direct impacts on land still look to be relatively the same. We're talking about tropical storm watches still in effect for the northern Leeward Islands, still mainly watching for the flooding potential in the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and again, the northern Leeward Islands. This is going to continue that west northwest westerly push at about 20 miles per hour, so moving pretty quickly throughout the entire weekend. By the time we get to the early work week next week, that's when this is going to start to take a shift towards the north. Now, I said this earlier, but models kind of disagree about when and where exactly that northern push is going to take place. What's essentially going to happen is the western side of the storm is going to start to weaken, and that's going to cause the storm to start to take more of a northerly direction. We're just kind of trying to figure out when and exactly where that's going to happen. Regardless of that disagreement and the models, the agreement takes place in where this curves away from the eastern coast of the U.S. So at this point, it's looking fairly likely that we're going to have no impacts to the U.S. directly. We're talking about maybe some increased surf and rip currents along the eastern coast, and that's probably about it. We'll still need to keep our eyes on Bermuda here, but the hope here is that this storm will kind of go in between and keyhole between these two major land masses. I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker. Make sure to stay up to date with our 13 WMAZ weather team for the latest.